Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the lower unit gear lube on a Mercury 9.9 four stroke outboard. Although this video probably applies to most smaller outboards. If you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. If you're into fishing, I love to have you as a sub, so hit that subscribe button. In the description box, I will also link up a Quicksilver Universal Gear Lube pump. And so you'll need this to pump the gear lube into your lower unit. And this is for 32 ounce and one liter gear lube bottles. I'll also link up some Quicksilver Premium Gear Lube. Though for your unit, you want to check your owner's manual and go with the factory specs. Uh, and I think it's more practical probably just to go to a Walmart or a Home Depot or something and, and pick these up because there was a wait on Amazon. Just going to have to change camera angles here and we'll get into the lower unit. So this is the lower unit. The drain is going to be right here. So I'm letting cards go by. The drain will be right here and the opening is right here. And you got to be careful this, on this model anyways. There's there's two screws and you want the one that says oil level. All right, so it's, it's this um, silver one right here. And really you should have your trim all the way down. You're going to want to have uh, something to collect the oil. And it's not that much oil, but, and then you need a, the only thing you really need for this is a flathead screwdriver. So you put the trim down. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so you just start here. You just unscrew it and again you want your trim all the way down you want something to collect the oil I've already drained the oil for this um, so you just unscrew it you want to catch it you don't want to get dirt in those threads all right it just pops right out all the oil is going to drain and then from there you can unscrew the uh, the top the top one and it'll break that vacuum There are washers on here, so you want to watch those and be careful. If you just unscrew that, that's going to break the vacuum. So it'll drain out faster. All right, and I will, I'm going to get the pump ready and I'll show you how you're going to actually pump it up through the bottom. I'll show you how to set up the pump. These are the pieces you're going to have. This is basically an extension. You're going to put this in. Uh, you know, this is so that it can extend all the way down the uh, bottle. And your end piece, you're gonna, little cap on there, you're gonna screw this off. And then it comes, this piece screws on, and then this screws, and these are pretty universal, actually. So you screw that piece in, and then screw this in. Clean off that dirt. Definitely don't want that in there. All right. It's important to make sure that you have this top screw out. There it is right there. I'm gonna clean that up right away. Put 
the top one on first, it's gonna create a vacuum. Should make it easier for uh, to remove the pump. I'll wipe that down good. I don't go too snug. I just just barely snug enough because I I always find that they over tighten um, over time. Anyway, you cut this, it's pain. Snug it in. That was a pain in the butt. Did not go as I had planned. But now your lower unit oil's changed. I'm gonna get in here, wash this off good. You don't want this getting in the water. Moment of truth here. I've done a lot today. I uh, changed the lower unit oil. I changed the water impeller, which means I did disengage the lower unit. And I was changing some gaskets in the carb. So there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Moment of truth. We'll see what happens. The impeller should be pissing water out here really well. Should be a nice stream. The gear should change. Let's we'll see what happens. Look at that. You even put a choke on. This is a nice healthy stream. Even when it's in neutral idling, it's pumping out water. It feels great. Here's change. Oh, it sounds great, man. Reverse. All right, ultimate test, put the trim up. There we go, a little bit of water. And still. So, in the end there, uh, when I put the trim up, wasn't quite spitting out water, but I think that's due to uh, just that these earmuffs aren't the greatest. Uh, they don't really fit it that well, but when they were on and the trim was down, it was just, I haven't, it hasn't, I haven't seen that much water exit in like two or three years so I think it's all set when I put the trim up I was just making sure I wouldn't lose power and that the engine wouldn't cut off from gas because I've been having that's the issues I had last year seems to work fine gear shifted when you're uh, when you remove the lower unit and you're putting in putting it back in you gotta I kept mine in neutral uh, and 
it, you, you should be able to, once you get it back on, you should be able to shift through all your gears. So you kind of just have to play with it. Just be careful. Um, but if you can't get it in reverse after everything's on, you, you did, you got to go back there and play with that, that link, that uh, shift link rod and uh, the nut on it. But everything's good now. Um, I don't know, I'm super stoked I could put it in the water, but thanks for watching. I hope it helped. I hope it gave you a good perspective. And I hope you catch real big bass soon. If you're into fishing, I'd love to have you as a sub. Hit that subscribe button. And I hope you have a great, safe 2021 fishing season. Thank you. Bye.